Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me in a new tutorial. So today I have another colored pencil tutorial for you and it is about drawing a dog eye. So I've done this Australian Shepherd puppy for my Patreon last month and um, I wanted to upload the eye for you. So I think dog eyes are so fun to draw but they're also tricky, especially when you're working this small. So I'm going to talk you through it and explain which techniques I used. So I'm using Faber-Castell Polychromos and uh, Caran d'Ache Luminance, a black one and a white one. On Canson 1557 paper, this is a 4 size, so pretty small. And I'm starting out with outlining the eye, so I'm taking my black Polychromos. You can see this dog has pretty dark fur, so the fur around the eye is pretty dark and the eye itself is very dark as well. So I'm just starting out right away with a black outline just to get the shape right and so I already have quite a bit of contrast in and based on that contrast I can judge the other values in the eye much better. So I'm just sketching that out and then I'm going to work from light to dark so with colored pencil I work from light to dark because because you can't really go over with light on top of a darker color that is possible with pastels but not really with colored pencil or at least not if you're not using any blending mediums or fixative in between so I'm just using the colored pencil itself no blending mediums, no fixatives, just the colored pencil. And that's how I like to work. Also, I really like the combination of polychromos and this paper. So as you can see, I zoomed in quite a bit on that eye. And you can see the texture of the paper. It's a bit, it's a bit textured but it's not very textured and it's not smooth either. So this is just perfect for me. I like medium textures. So it takes a lot of layers, but I can also work very detailed on this paper. So that first outline takes a while. I try to be very, very careful and not cross over the line. So I want to get the shape just right. So I'm taking quite a lot of time for this outline. Also when it comes to sharpening, I don't use any specific sharpeners. I have uploaded a video before about my pastel materials in which I showed a um, pastel a sharpener by Derwent, the Derwent manual super point sharpener or something like that. And that one I don't use anymore. It got dull and it snaps my pencils. So now I just use very simple metal sharpeners, sharpeners which work just fine. And I'm also already outlining that iris a bit. I'm not pushing very hard though. I just want to get a nice outline around that iris, but I still want to be able to go on top with other colors as well. And as I mentioned, I have the 14 hour tutorial of this puppy available on my Patreon from start to finish in real time. So if you're interested in that, um, yeah, you can join me on there. I'd really appreciate your support. It really helps me sustain my channel. And now I'm also already filling in the pupil a bit. So usually you can find a lot of different colors in the pupil here as well. So I'm starting out with a light layer of black. So I can add browns and blues on top later. The pupil is never completely black. That will look very flat if you go in with black only. Now I'm drawing around that highlight. There's a pretty big highlight there in the eye. And I want to make sure to draw around it. Alright, and now it's time to start the shading. So I'm going to fill in that upper eyelid first with black again. And then I'm also filling in that inner eye corner. Mm -hmm. 
And now, finally, it's time to do some coloring. So I did the upper eyelid, as you can see, with nougat and then some grey. And then I burnish it with the white Caran d'Ache. So with the Caran d'Ache pencil, I create a very smooth blended surface. I use the Caran d'Ache for that because it's waxier than the Polychromos and it goes on top of layers a bit easier and it's a bit softer as well. So I like the Caran d'Ache for blending smooth surfaces and I use the Polychromos for the detailed areas. Switching to the black Caran d'Ache, it's very opaque, very black, so I use that for only the very darkest parts of the eye. So you can see I'm filling in the darks first, I really like to do that so I can judge the rest of the colors uh, better based on that black. That's how I get my contrast in there. So although I work from light to dark with my layering, I do like to start out with the darkest areas first. Now we're going to start shading the iris. So for that I use Sanguine. I really like to use Sanguine, it's a bit of an orangey tone. You can see there's an orange tone in the iris as well, in the center area. I'm going to start off with a light layer of that, just using circular motions. Then switching to Burnt Sienna. That's a really nice reddish brown using circular motions again. So when drawing in those small circles you get a very smooth uh, smooth surface right away. Now switching to walnut brown. And with that I'm going to darken up the iris, um, no, the pupil and the outer edges of the iris. So I really hope you like these tutorial videos I'm uploading at the moment. I really enjoy doing them and I do want to put my focus now on tutorials, pet portraits, wildlife, not necessarily on the videos I used to upload. So I hope you like that. I'm really enjoying it. Going in with some bister now. Putting a bit of that in the center area of the iris. So it's all about putting as many different colors in there. So all the colors that you can see and just layer them on top of each other do a bit of color mixing in, or in order to get the right shade. So you never get the right color right away. It always takes a bit of mixing. Switching to um, Caput Morton Violet now. Really nice dark purple tone which I always use. I really like this color. I use it for every pet portrait I do. And with that I'm darkening up the outer edge of the iris even more. And now switching back to black to darken up the pupil. So now I put um, some other colors on the pupil as well and then finally to darken it up I use black again. Then to smudge that out a bit of uh, that purple again. And then I'm blending the iris with the Caran d'Ache. And after blending I can always put some more layers on top so the paper doesn't get saturated after the first time blending but I do make sure to not push too hard so I keep my pressure pretty light until the very last layers. Now I'm switching between black and terracotta for that uh, more orangey tone to put in some more contrast and then finally I'm going to start shading the highlight so I save that for last because it's the lightest area so then when all the rest is done, I can judge how dark my highlight has to be. So the highlight is almost never white. So you can actually see a lot of blues in there. So I use some ultramarine blue and some lighter blues. Just layer that in very lightly. And then I'm also using some yellow. So in those smaller highlights below, I could see some yellow, so I'm just putting that in. So it's all about observing and learning to see all the colors. And that takes a lot of practice. And with, with experience, you'll learn which colors to choose. Adding some more darker blue now. And I also put in a smaller highlight, 
with my Tombo Mono Zero eraser, so that went pretty quick. I um, cut it off with my knife to a very sharp point and then I could pull out a very small highlight there in the iris. And then for the white of the eye I'm using browns and also some pinks. So the white of the eye is never white. You can see that it's a little bit pinkish on the reference photo. So I made sure to put that in. And then that um, under eyelid, that lower eyelid has a bluish tone to that to it. So I'm using ultramarine blue, then blending it all out with my Caran d'Ache. Also blending inside the highlights a little bit more. And then the eye was finished. So if you'd like to see more of this dog, let me know in the comments below. I have the whole process filmed, so let me know which part of the dog you'd like to see. I also uploaded the nose, so I will put that in the video or in the description somewhere if you're interested in seeing that one. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial or in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>